Guys, I just found something amazing on the Bitcoin charts. I'm expecting a breakout, a massive, huge breakout during the next 24 hours. I will tell you exactly in which direction this breakout will occur and also what price levels we have to keep an eye on during this time till this breakout happens so we know exactly in which direction the breakout will come and also that we are then prepared to scale down, scale up our trades, open maybe even new long positions because as you guys know, right now I'm still in around $1.75 million worth of Bitcoin long positions that I'm ready to scale up rapidly as soon as we have a confirmed continuation of this bull run. That's why guys, let's not talk too much. Let's just jump right into the charts. I will also give you a huge update on my altcoin holdings. So stick around till the very end of this video. I can already promise you, you don't want to miss out on any of this important information. Other than that, I would always appreciate it if you could smash up a like on this video. Let's reach 3000 likes as on every video I upload. And also make sure to subscribe, activate the bell, leave a comment down below and share the video with your friends so you don't miss out on any future uploads. But now let's just jump right into the chart. On the smaller time frames, guys, we will stay with the four hourly time frames and the higher ones. Actually, everything is looking quite good. We still have our price target of $52,700 right above us. So the bulls definitely are in a situation where they have a reason to push the price even higher. The bears are actually maybe even a little bit scared that the bulls will reach this price level. So right now everything is looking fairly good for the bulls. I mean, as you guys know, markets can turn rapidly any moment and that's why I'm already giving you now a very important price level you have to keep an eye on till this weekly candle closes Sunday evening. And this is actually very simple and easy. This is actually, I will show you now, this is the $47,500 price level. This price level is actually the level that I'm holding an eye on the most because I think if we're closing our daily candle above this price level, the chances of us continuing this run up with the next daily candle increase dramatically because also this would mean that Bitcoin would probably get ready to break out of this very ugly W pattern. It's even a little bit invalid actually this W pattern because the second bottom is lower than the first one which is not um, perfect for this kind of chart pattern but still I want to take a look at the price target that we would be looking at if we are breaking above the neckline which is actually exactly at the price level we topped out yesterday and this is the $48,300 price level. This was also the price level as you guys remember I told you guys if we don't break the $48,300 level to the upside we have to expect massive more downside till the $41 thousand dollar level and exactly this happened after I called it in my video we dropped down even below forty one thousand dollars but as you guys can see the closes of the daily candles and where we really found support was actually around the forty one thousand dollar level and since then we are back in our long trades again and so far it's going amazing so right now, what I'm looking at is this symmetrical triangle that also broke already out to the downside. It's rather a fake out and also now again, not really that valid anymore, the symmetrical triangle. But still, I think the symmetrical triangle still would have a breakout target of around $53,000. So if we take this into account that we still have a very bullish price target on the four hourly um, time frame, we have, we have still a, a price target of $52,700 for unser last for our last breakout. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we can assume that also those two chart patterns will now break up to the upside and this would mean that we would definitely see a new rally high or we would actually retest our old rally high. And if we break this to the upside, I think even a new all-time high could be coming very soon, but everything at the right time. So let's not talk about this too much in today's video. Let's just wait till it happens. So right now, like I said, I'm keeping an eye on the $47,500 level. If we are not breaking this level today to the downside, so if we're closing today's daily candle above this price level, I think it makes sense to even scale up the long positions a little bit already to be prepared for the weekly candle close because it is actually possible that we have this breakout during today and tomorrow up to the $52,700 level and that would actually put us out of all misery on the weekly time frame. As you guys can see, we would, by reaching this price target and closing a weekly candle in this area, we would leave all resistance behind us. We would 
close above the old old weekly high we would um, destroy this downward sloping resistance on the weekly time frame we would uh, uh, pump above and close above the eight year support and resistance channel so we would really have a massively bullish weekly candle and i can promise you we would see new all-time highs right after that probably in the next two or three weeks the only thing is that we have to keep in mind is that this weekly candle still has 36 hours left and in 36 hours everything can happen to the bitcoin price so i can already tell you let's just keep an eye on the very important i just told you on the very important $47,500 level if we close a daily candle. So if we close this daily candle below that, I will scale down my trades a little bit. If we close even a daily candle below the $45,500 level, I will again scale down my longs a little bit. But if we are if we're managing to close this daily candle above the $47,500 price level, I can already tell you that it's time to scale up the Bitcoin long positions once again a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's that's the game plan for the Bitcoin price. I mean, it will make sense if we get rejected on the weekly time frame. if we are pumping now, maybe during the next 36 hours and we pump to up to the $50,000 $50, level and we get rejected there. Guys, we would have another rejection on the weekly time frame like we had it last time at the $48,800 level where I called you guys. If we don't break this level, we have to expect a big correction on the weekly time frame coming. Boom. And we saw a correction all the way down to $39,000, so over 20% drop right after I called that we have to break the $48,800 level to not see a big correction. And this is now the same for the $50,000 level. If we don't break the $50,000 level with this weekly candle we have to expect that the next weekly candle could actually correct all the way down to the $46,000 level or even a little bit lower maybe even to the $43,500 level all the way down to the weekly EMA ribbons. So you already see how deciding the next hours, the next days are for Bitcoin. And this is why I definitely want to see Bitcoin holding the $47,500 level. And in the best case, we are closing this daily candle above the $48,700, $48,800 level. If we are closing today's daily candle above that level, guys, I will scale up my long positions massively because we have to expect then a rapid pump, especially in the next week after we are closing our weekly candle very bullish. Now let's talk also about my altcoins like i told you guys i want to also talk about my altcoins by the way if you haven't done so please make sure to leave a like on this video smash it up guys let's reach the 3000 likes don't forget to subscribe activate the bell leave a comment down below share the video with your friends but let's uh, talk about my altcoins right now and guys actually i did some changes to my altcoin portfolio as you guys know this is not all the altcoins that i'm holding but those are the bigger holdings that i have i scaled up my elrond holding today a little bit because i think elrond uh, is looking fairly good at the moment uh, my compound holdings stayed the same guys i massively scaled up my alpha finance lab holdings uh, i decided that alpha finance lab i want to have a way bigger position um, than i have right now because i i think that alpha finance lab took a massive massive hit during during the correction of Bitcoin, as we can see, guys, uh, Alpha Finance Lab really went down to 80 cents from its high from almost, yeah, it almost had a 50% correction, right? Um, almost a 50% correction. So I think we, we have a lot of upside for Alpha Finance Lab. And um, yeah, I, I think that uh, we should, we should or I at least scaled up my position um, on Alpha Finance Lab. As also, I scaled up my position on Solanium again a little bit, but um, uh, not, not that much really. And Drops Ownership Protocol, I actually took a little bit of uh, money out of Drops Ownership Protocol. And I scaled up my Trufi uh, holdings quite a lot as well. So Trufi, Alpha Finance Lab and Elrond, those three got scaled up in the last couple of days so yeah that's also um everything you need to know about my altcoins holdings at the moment what i did to them but yeah guys if you enjoyed the content like i said please leave a like let's read 3000 likes don't forget to subscribe activate the bell i will keep you updated on my trades i will keep you updated on what i'm keeping an eye on for the bitcoin price everything is looking fairly good for now but you know there can always be a massive manipulation so let's just see how this daily candle closes and after that i think we can decide on what to do next with our trades i would say guys see you next one bye